What's up everybody, Ninth Jim here back with another VGC 2020 Pokemon Sword and Shield competitive video with single spotlight. Today we're talking about G-Max Alcremi. This Pokemon will now be able to G-Max starting March 1st, which is tomorrow, in Season 3. And I'm actually really excited for this Pokemon. Not really, but it's really cool. I think it's really good. Uh, very promising. It's. I still think it's mostly used as a supporter of Pokemon. Supportive Pokemon being able to use its amazing move, Decorate, Recover, stick, stick around for a while, and using Helping Hand. Just keeping this, making your Pokemon just deal a lot of damage, and that's essentially what this Pokemon will be doing as, as we continue on in the meta, in my opinion. I still think it's promising as a, as a potential attacker. It has great solid, uh, it has very solid base stats across the board, and you can definitely just go HP and special attack, and then just deal a lot of damage with attacks. I think you can play it either way. However, today we're talking about the supportive Alcremie. So, let's go ahead and get into it. So, fairy type, just mono fairy type, which is pretty good. You know, immunity to dragon. We only have three resistances, but only two weaknesses. Pretty solid overall. Resistances is fighting, bug, and dark. And then weaknesses is poison and steel. We have a good bit of Pokemon that can help us with that. Um, which is really good things like Arcanine able to beat up any steel guy and most poisons that are in the in the meta is poison grass or poison in another type um, no real mono poison types in our meta so we're able to kind of like break that wall especially if it's like you know Vileplume or uh, Venusaur those are gonna be some of the most common poison types and Arcanine will be able to deal with those as well so Arcanine is a really good uh, potential Pokemon. We'll talk about that later though. However, for now, we'll go ahead and jump into stats. So stats is 65 HP, which is not amazing, but it's fine. Defense at 75, which is not amazing, but it's fine. But special defense at 121 is actually very solid. We have uh, 121 base and then defenses and HP are not great, but with our investments, they become amazing actually. Or not amazing, but they, they become so very solid. And this Pokemon becomes really sturdy and that's really good for this Pokemon. <laughs> um, with Babbery, we end up living a lot of our steel attacks and we can most likely live almost all attacks and then be able to set up Decorate on a Pokemon and then have essentially a weakness policy immediately on a Pokemon, which is very, very good. Um, we see, you know, like self-procking and this is essentially doing that without having to deal damage which is cool, which is cool, I like it. But we have Togekiss in the meta and Follow Me is everywhere so you can't decorate all the time or else you're gonna decorate your opponent's Togekiss and they're gonna be like, yeah, thanks. Um, and then just kill you. <laughs> so yeah, that's gonna happen. So you have to be careful. You don't wanna give Togekiss's free double special attack. They're just gonna run all over the place and, and kill everything, so yeah. That's why this Pokemon has kind of fallen off in my opinion. Not even really fallen off, just never really got to play a big part in, in most teams in general and I think this Pokemon has a lot of promise and it, it sucks that it just gets destroyed by Togekiss. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's get into the build. So Ability Sweet Veil, this ability is actually really solid. It prevents itself and allies from falling asleep. This is really good in a format where Dynamax is the main mechanic and we get to really focus on that. You know, no matter what, like even if it's this Pokemon Gigantamaxing or your partner Pokemon Dynamaxing, you know, not being able to go to sleep, it's really good because that is the that is, that is the downside of Dynamaxing is you can just get screwed out of your own Dynamax by falling asleep. So that's really cool that we get to just out that. Um, into our item, we have Babbery Berry. So I really like Babbery Berry. It helps us live against Duraludon and Excadrill. Uh, Durant usually just kills you anyway, but I mean, Durant is huge and Durant does like its own things. Um, and one of them being Oko through Babbery Berry. <laughs> um, but yeah, Babbery, so Babbery Berry is strong. We could also use Leftovers. I'm opting Babbery Berry, but you can definitely opt Leftovers. That's how we have it on our singles build. I don't know if... Maybe, maybe as a as we go through season three, you know, see see some out creamies every now and again. We'll definitely you know explore our options across the board. Also, if you go into a more powerful, like if you're playing a more offensive out creamy, maybe something else um, other than leftovers or babbery, like in general, could potentially be the option. I'm not sure though. Anyway, so yeah, that's item and ability. We'll go into our moves. We have a lot of really good moves. Um, so first off, we have Dazzling Gleam as our only attacking move. It's just uh, pretty good, good damage against both Pokemon, and then it's Stab, which I, I just like that. I think it's good. And then we also have Decorate, Recover, and Helping Hand. 
Decorate will give us two times attack and special attack on whatever Pokemon we target. And this does go through Protect, which is really interesting. So you can start this in something like Duraludon and then Decorate it and Protect. And then, or Max Guard and Decorate, and then you get guaranteed weakness policy right off the bat, which is really, really powerful. Giving a Pokemon that's already insane damage, like has great damage output, a weakness policy, turn one, wow, good stuff, good stuff. You just have to keep this guy alive, and then you get to Decorate, Recover, Helping Hand, and just kind of annoy your opponent and make all of your things do infinite attack, and that's really good. Um, the other one we have here is Helping Hand, so you can like Decorate and then Helping Hand. Helping Hand is cool because it gives us that priority, which is very good. And then Recover is just to keep this Pokemon on the field for a while. You want to just stay alive, um, set up a couple of Decorates so or Helping Hands, and make essentially make your partner Pokemon just kill everything, and that's kind of what we're doing with this Pokemon. However, you can use it like uh, offensively, you know, with a good bit of moves, but... Maybe maybe a different video. We'll, we'll talk about it like that. Anyway, into the rest of our moves here, we have a, a lot of like good flex moves that we can use. So our first one is Charm, which just lowers the attack stat of the target by two. That's this is like really powerful. However, we're not prankster and we're not super fast, but it's still a good option. And then Calm Mind, I actually like Calm Mind a lot. I think that's really good, especially with like Follow Me. You can Calm Mind and then um, potentially decorate and just like make. Whichever Pokemon you want, just be insane. This would definitely be on the um, G-Max attacking set. We can set up Togekiss with Follow Me, and then Calm Mind, and then Max, and use the G-Max attack. I haven't even talked about the G-Max attack yet. It heals your ally Pokemon. So if we have Togekiss, Alcremi set up, we start swinging with Alcremi into things, and then heal up the Togekiss while Togekiss is soaking up all the damage from Follow Me. It's actually a really interesting like little dynamic, and that's definitely how I would... First, how I would definitely start off the offensive build. Anyway, um, into the rest, we have Light Screen as well, which is interesting. Aromatherapy, which heals all of status conditions on your entire team. It's a good option, but I'm not going to use it. Uh, a couple of offensive coverage moves is Mystical Fire, Energy Ball, and Giga Drain. Giga Drain being able to heal us up a little bit, and then Mythical Fire doing good damage while also lowering Special Attack, which is very good. Uh, or special, special Defense? Special Attack? Why do I not know that right off the bat? Hold on, hold on. Uh, I should know that. Mystical Fire, Special Attack. I was right the first time. Why, why do I doubt myself? I don't know why I doubt myself. Anyway, um, and then Protect is our last move. We just like, I, I like Protect. It will most likely land on the offensive set as well, um, which is good. Although when you max, then, uh, you know, the Decorate slash Calm Mind would turn into Max Guard, so you might not need it anyway. Um, but yeah, that's it for the moves. We'll go into our stats here, 252 in HP and 252 in defense, and then bold nature giving us a plus defense and minus attack. We're just maxing out on bulk just so we can live as long as possible, be able to recover, decorate, helping hand, and really lend a hand to our partner Pokemon, which is what we want to do the whole game. Yeah. Into our synergies. So I already briefly talked about Arcanine. Arcanine covers our weaknesses really well, as well as being able to provide will -Wiss, Snarl, Intimidate, all around support, making us bulkier compared to our opponent um, or compared to their attack stats. And then you can set up Decorates or Helping Hands onto your um, Arcanine and potentially do a lot of damage with Arcanine, even though it's probably support as well. And then also Togekiss for that Follow Me, especially for a Calm Mind if you go for Offensive. Or even Calm Mind, you can go for Calm Mind uh, being defensive as well. Just like, Calm Minds are just very good in general. And then, yeah, that's that's all for that one. <laughs> and then we also have De uh, Duraludon being able to decorate it, make it really big and really strong, and then just kill everything. And that's kind of the, the whole thing about Dur Duraludon. It also, obviously, um, is immune to poison and resists steel, so that's pretty good. It covers us pretty well. Um, into our last one here, this is Togekiss. This is just to symbolize the fact that when we they use Follow Me and we decorate, it then goes targeted to them, and then we decorate their Togekiss, which we don't want to be doing ever. Uh, never, never, never. Anyway, that's going to be it for our first slide. We'll go ahead and talk about our speed tiers. Our speed tiers are kind of weird. So we're at 84 here, um, which is pretty fast Like for like a slow Pokemon. We also beat a lot of dumb things, and this Pokemon could work really well at a Trick Room as well as Tailwind. So that's another good idea. Is um, it, it could be on a team with either of those as support, so that's good. It can hit like a really good speed tier. Things that we do at speed is Aegislash, Galarian Weezing, Grimmsnarl, Sylveon, Lapras, Jellicent, all at that 80 speed tier. 
um, that's pretty useful you know things like uh, Lapras can like threaten us a little bit once once they set up um, next format when it's able to use that move that sets up a roar veil not letting us deal that much damage and if we actually try to threaten it with anything potentially weakness policy can proc and it, it can just get kind of annoying um, other things in that they all kind of like are threatening like we we aren't very threatening of an alkramia Al it kind of just threatens uh, damage with our partner pokemon so that's really it um scrafty we kill scrafty every time and we outspeed it so that's really cool things that we don't outspeed mimikyu is going to be outspeeding us even if it's hindering if it's the lowest possible um and then we also have togekiss here uninvested this is how you'll see it sometimes but not always so that means togekiss will always be outspeeding us and then same with gyarados gyarados will always be outspeeding us that was supposed to be um, my low tick, not Gyarados. I didn't edit that over. Oh, well. Uh, Gyarados will always be outspeeding us, definitely. And so will my low tick. They will both be outspeeding us. Anyway, that's going to be it for our speed tiers, actually. And we'll go into our damage calcs. I'll, I'll, like, the damage calcs here are pretty simple. Um, pretty much just Flash Cannon. We live because of Babbery Berry from a Duraludon. Duraludon would not be able to Oko us. That's good. Um, Dynamaxed. Weakness Policy. Procced. Max Invested, Attack, Tyranitar, Max Rockfall kills us. Guaranteed O'Kill, 113 to 134. If we Dynamax, we live, so that's good. Um, but if we proc it with Dazzling Gleam or the Max, whatever the G-Max move was called, I forget what it's called, uh, Finale, then it'll just be O'Killing us right off the bat, which is really bad for <laughs> El Creamy. Um, Durant, Life Orb, Dynamax, Max Steel Spike into El Creamy has an 81.3% chance to Oko through a Babbery Berry. Yikes. Durant, you don't want to face against a Durant. You don't want to face up a, Dur a Durant. He'll, he'll just kill you. Um, anyway, then we have Togekiss, Dynamax, Max Airstream hits a guaranteed two hit KO. That's pretty obnoxious. Um, but I mean, that's kind of what we would expect. Dazzling Gleam into Conkledor with the Assault Vest. Very low damage. 16 to, to 19. We do very little damage. If we're not um, going for our offensive, this Pokemon just doesn't do much damage, you know? But we make our our partner Pokemon do a lot of damage, and that's kind of the work that he puts in. So, and then Dazzling Gleam into Grimmsnarl has 22 to 27% chance. That's without, ref or that's without Light Screen, so yeah. Not a lot of damage. That's pretty much what I'm saying, but that's fine. Um, anyway, into our last one, into our last slide here, it's the single spotlight i don't know why i couldn't think of the name there um so anyway single spotlight for al creamy i don't think this book i don't foresee this pokemon seeing a lot of play in, in singles however if it is you are gonna play or you can play it calm mind recover dazzlingly mystical fire just dealing out some damage setting up calm mind being able to recover and, and heal up with leftovers we are not using sweet value we're using aroma veil what is oh what does aroma veil do well it lets us um, not be restricted by res attack restricting attacks <laughs> things like taunt we can still call mind to recover through taunt which is very good and then also like torment we are unaffected um, other stuff like that but it's really mostly for taunt like taunt that that's really what it's for <laughs> um, anyway yeah so we just do a little bit of damage with dazzling gleam and mystical fire we're also just invested into HP defense and then a little into speed we just have enough into defense to live certain attacks and then speed um, just pour in the 28 into speed. I don't really know why. This is mostly a Smogon build. Um, anyway, another one important thing about this Pokemon in singles. Toxapex walls it out entirely. You can't beat Toxapex, so play something that can beat Toxapex. Uh, I'm not sure what beats Toxapex um, in singles, honestly. But you can deal with... If, if you make a team that can deal with Toxapex, Al Creamy can work. That's going to be it. That's everything I have for Al Creamy. I like Al Creamy. I think it's pretty promising. I don't. I don't expect to see it a lot in competitive play in VGC or singles. However, when you do see it, be prepared. This Pokemon can be very, very bulky. And with Babbery, you there's a, just a very low chance you'll be able to Oko without supplementing your team a lot. You know things like Weakness Policy, uh, Mudsdale can kill it with Swagger. You know, un un tempo Swagger can kill it, and a couple of other things just can just destroy it. Um, but like belly drum and stuff like that but overall this pokemon's pretty bulky setting up free weakness policies is not something to laugh at also choice item essentially effect with um helping hand and then setting up recovery and just being able to live for a while decorate and helping hand every turn it is definitely promising and i i would like to explore it especially offensively too i would like to explore that build as well and either way 
I think this Pokemon's actually really sweet. Yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you haven't checked it out yet, go to my giveaway. It's almost closed, but then we'll do a second giveaway and it'll be fine. And I'll change the link in all of my videos to that when we set that up. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and goodbye.